Yes, guys, welcome from me, Championship Manager 0102. The game still keeps going. So today's video is going to be, as you can see in the title, you're not stupid, it's part two of my Leeds United love story. Now, I don't quite know what made me call it that, in all honesty, um, but um, you probably saw from the first part of this, um, this franchise of vi uh, videos, it was just a song with how I did in my first season of Leeds United. Now Leeds United isn't exactly the hardest of challenges, in all fairness. This is the ODB, and for those of you that know the ODB will know that Leeds United start with the most money. Um, they start with more money than Manchester United, um, and they they might not have the reputation of Manchester United, and they might not have have the uh, the best players like Man United, of players like uh, Van Nistelrooy, Roy Keane, Beckham, etc., etc. But they do have a hell of a squad to work with, and with the money, you can really turn turn them into beasts. Now, um, for me, I call it a love story because I just wanted to do something different. Um, and as you probably gathered from uh, part one, I won the title. I won the title, and I won the UEFA Cup, which is what I was in. Uh, I got knocked out of the League Cup semi-final to Man United, then won the first leg 3-0 at 3-1, lost the second leg 3-0, and lost the FA Cup final. Uh, to Liverpool. So far this season, you can see where we are, we are um, literally half a season in, we're on uh, New Year's Day and we are having an absolute whale of a time. Um, United are pushing us all the way. Now, a couple of things I'm going to point out, my tactic has remained the same as, as you can see it right there, the boom returns, although that is actually a boom tactic, boom returns is actually 4-1-2-2-1, two, two, one, but I've clearly modified it, you can tell that by the star. Now, the interesting thing here is what I had to do is uh, I had to offload a few players. Um, I didn't have to, but money was not becoming an issue. But Torino West has gone, um, as you can see. Barson went, although Barson went for uh, six-month instalments, which I was happy with. A couple of the big money, um, big money departures was Eric Backer. You can see 5.25. Michael Bridges. I forget who he came, who arrived. From, oh, I think I brought a left back from Benfica, but I have since sold him. Um, also departing at the end of last season, Saeed went, Bakarugu went, Viduka went in April, uh, in March, trying to a deadline. Now you may argue, why would I sell Viduka? Well, the only player that is off limits in any ODB game for me is Toe Madeira. Sometimes I even say Maxim Sigalko, but do you know what? I'm having a challenge with my brother. We both chose Leeds. He's a big Sigalko fan, so fuck that. I'm having Sigalko as well. Um, but I've brought a lot of players in. Uh, I've got an awful lot of players in, uh, sorry these are future transfers, I've got a couple of offers in for some players because I've got a little bit of money to work with now. Um, but in terms of players in, um, that's just a standard goalkeeper, uh, Riyad now, or if it's pronounced Riyad, now I'm going to save this for a video at a later date, but uh, you all know, you might have seen one of the other videos, the way to beat the work permit, and the way to beat the work permit is to offer 35 grand a week. Now, with Riyad and Brozek, you cannot offer 35 grand a week. Uh, I think it's because they've not got the reputation. However, as you can see there, they are on 8,000, and I think, I think Riyad as well is 8,000. Yeah, and you're probably wondering, well, how did I get them? There is a trick how to get players uh, and beat the work permit without offering them 35 grand a week. Um, more about that in another video. Stay tuned. Um, NDI, well I got him on the 35 grand a week, I didn't need to use it. Agahoa, more about him in a moment. And you can see on transfer deadline I brought Claudio Lopez, I think I might have put that in the previous video. So the, the non-EC rule, that's this is why I sold um, Viduka in all fairness, because you can only play three non-ECs in any um, English based match day squad. And as you can see I've got loads, but Nicky Ferenko, I didn't start him. But since I've given your game also here and there, look at that, 20 games, 19 goals, but he's got to play behind the striker. He's been absolutely brilliant. Um, Riyad, I weren't going to play him up this season, to be honest with you, but uh, I think I gave him a game, he got me a 10. He did get me a red card at some point. Uh, Maxman Sigalko, now Sigalko, he's starting to pick up now, to be fair. He, he, uh, he didn't have a great start to the season. He had a cracking season last campaign, hence why I sold the Duca, but... At times, I want to change my Nolly C's around a little bit. I think left back, I brought in Okoronko, but I had too many Nolly C's playing. Agahoa, Agahoa's actually slipped up a little bit. Um, and he was a bargain, Agahoa, to be honest with you. Um, 
Brozek, I've not even been playing Brozek. Now let me show you a game. Uh, it finished 2 0 Ipswich. There you go. I honestly was shitting myself. So 2 0 up. Uh, 53 minutes. My goalkeeper, Paul Robertson, ever present this season or up until that was uh, 30 games. My substitute goalkeeper, Roningen, injured. So Selakovic came on and went in goal for the last 13 minutes, but we held firm to win 2 0. Um, Ayala was a big move, but I have actually offered him out. Uh, because he got me a red card, I think. I think it's two A suspension. He, he wound me up a little bit, to be honest with you. Zanetti has been an absolute rock for me at right back this season. He's been brilliant. And Okoronko has made left back his own. And because Okoronko is a, a non EU, I need to allow for, for Okoronko to play um, as one of my three. So Okoronko needs to play. Nicky Ferenko needs to play. So theoretically, I've still got one more slot. Arcadius back. Normally, he, he's a player that I'll always play. The one that knows me knows. I'll always go to Arcadia's back, um, but he's just not played the games that I would normally give him. Um, so you know, I mean, and then MDI, I, I, he plays in DMC. If the court don't, if the court can't play, Karagunas hasn't been playing because Agaho has been playing. But you know, oh, it's, it's so. I mean, I even transferred this to uh, Claudio Lopez because I only paid 4.4 for him to try and recoup some money. Now the reason I wanted to recoup money. Uh, and I've got a little... Oh, actually, I've not got as much... Oh, no, 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 I have got more money coming in because I've got two players going on the second. I thought I had more money than that, but somewhere, where is it? I've got two players going, there you go. I've got a bit of money coming in. These players that I bought from uh, Fiorentina, they got relegated last season in Serie A. I picked them up on release clauses, but they are both going. That's going to recoup the best part of £8 million. So hopefully, I'm hopeful that I might make enough money to make a serious bid. Uh, there you can see my offer at the moment. Uh, I know I haven't got that at the moment, but I will have 10 million. That's what I've offered for Cannavaro. I'd like to get Cannavaro. And maybe if I can get Cannavaro, Cannavaro and Ayala, who knows what they could do at the back for me. Rio Ferdinand, he's just done shit. He really, I mean, he looks the bollocks. Uh, Woodgate's not actually too bad. Gary Kelly, when he's come in, because he's got injured for a little bit, has done well. Hart's had a few games as well. He's done very, very well. Uh, Rustico had a lot of money for him last season, but he's starting to come good. It's taken a little bit of time, but you can see Ayala's not been brilliant. And this is the reason why I opted to sell players like Taribo West. Um, Ryan Williams, he never really made it. That was a left back I brought from Benfica as a part X, but I've since sold him. Um, Richie Wellens I opted to get rid of. I mean, I was very, very close to selling, uh, or cashing in, shall I say, Lee Boyer. But uh, look at him, absolutely monster. Uh, and of course, Mark Kerr is certainly the uh, second in command for central midfield. Harry Kewell continues to be absolutely amazing for me. So, you know, Kewell will always play really. It, it, it's, it's, it's bizarre. And then up top, of course, Robbie Keane. Uh, Robbie Keane had been given a few games when I dropped Sigalco because of the non EC. He did well, he even got injured. Alan Smith's come in. Look at Alan Smith. So, uh, Robbie Keane is actually a forward, but I think he's got the credentials to really play as a striker or if he wanted, I could play him where Nicky Ferenko is. So in goal at the minute is my old Greek guy, uh, Chiotis, who's had three games. And of course I like to bring one of my reserves up as my uh, substitute. Um, we are we're about to come to the FA Cup third round. We're uh, in control in the League Cup. Now this was a monster victory in the League Cup. Look at that. And they played a, a, a strong team, Man United. I think they've sold Veron actually now. They've just sold him to Barcelona. Um, but they did have a strange formation. Oh, I say strange, but uh, they have just brought Zambrotta. Quite, he's done well. He had just brought it up, as you can see, but he's done very, very well. Um, but that was a massive result. And what's more massive is we play Warsaw. Now, of course, we got to the semis last season. Hopefully, we'll go one step further in that. And, of course, we are in the Champions League. And as you can see there, the second game, we lost to Ajax. Uh, that's been our worst performance this season when we lost to Ajax. Um, and after an emphatic victory over Real Madrid... Uh, that, that's where we're at with the Champions League. Uh, that ain't going to resume, of course, until late February. So, um, plenty of players. I mean, Tommy Smith's still going. I've still got him going. Uh, I didn't really want to sell Tommy Smith. Uh, and I, 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 don't, I haven't listed him. Kalstrom, I don't know if Kalstrom's going to make it, to be honest with you. I've been very uh, selective on who I decide to cash in on. Uh, now what's going to happen with uh, Riyad, and if Riyad gets unhappy, which he, he probably will be, he ain't going to take a new, he ain't going to take a, a new contract. 
I've got to make sure when he does get unhappy, I can try to get him to take a new contract because remember I've got the contract protection applied on this. So after two, after three years, he'll be available to leave on a free uh, on a tribunal set transfer. The same applies with uh, Brozek, and as you can see, Brozek actually is only a forward, so he, he doesn't play. Him, he's not there on the midfielders, so he can only realistically play when Nicky Ferenko plays or Robbie Keane plays, whereas Nicky Ferenko can play attacking midfield, so he could theoretically play where Kewell or Agahoa is. Um, Agahoa, like I said, has been absolutely brilliant for me. Uh, I say brilliant, he had been brilliant. He's phased off a little bit. Um, got him on the 35 grand a week work permit trick. So um, I am not looking forward to the African nations, which I don't think is this year. Uh, let's just double check it. I'm sure it's not, yeah, it's not this year, it's next year. So the African nations, because um, I think we're gonna we're gonna lose a lot of players, but you know what? That's the idea of having a strong squad, uh, so we can all sort of contribute. Now the European squad. Let's have a look at this because obviously I could only name 25 players. Uh, that is uh, 20. Oh, the reason Alaway is there is because he's under 20. That's why he's there. Uh, and any, anybody else that is under um, 20 years of age. Yeah, Riyad, I, I, didn't, I didn't hit Riyad, so he can play. Brozek, uh, he, well, I, I haven't named him. So, that is our European squad. So, of course, some players missed out on the cup. I can change a couple when we come back to resuming the Champions League, as you know. Probably might take out Arcadius back, bring somebody else in. I don't know. We'll, we'll see when we get there. But the um, the goalkeepers thing really shook me. Selakovic might leave. Um, he's not really. I mean, if I can cash in on him in order to bring in a nice strong centre half, then then I will. Because Rustico, I find well, whilst Rustico is doing very well for me, I find Rustico is almost the perfect uh, bench boy. Um, Endia has really come in in defensive midfield. I mean, look at he's a fucking he's a monster. He really is a fucking monster. Um, and he's coming to DMC. I was originally using Ibrahim Saeed, who, are, as you know, I've already sold. Karagunas, um, not doing as well as he did last season, but he hasn't really had as many games, as you can see. So, uh, we'll see where we go. Who else haven't I hit on yet? Um, uh, I don't think there's anybody else I've missed, is there? No, I think we're all good. We are all good. Uh, in terms of goalkeepers, I'd say Paul Robinson doesn't look brilliant, but has had a good season. Uh, like I say, Ronan Gunn, uh, uh, half a, a few minutes of a game, and Chottis has come in. Chottis looks fucking amazing, to be honest with you, in comparison. But I find with Chottis, it always takes him a year or so to really build up. And uh, last season, 19 games, 7 0, not good enough. But um, who knows what he can do. Will Robertson get his place back? Well, who knows? So, Man United really are pushing us all the way. Now, let's have a look at Man United, who recently are our biggest competitors. So, Yap Stam there for repurchased him. Darren Anderson, I didn't even spot that in all honesty. Um, I always thought Darren Anderson was a left winger, if I'm truly honest with you, since when was he a fucking right winger? Uh, and the players out, I know Veron when. Oh, they sold Ambrosetti, I didn't realise. I, 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 uh, I remember them purchasing him, but I didn't realise they'd sold him. Never understand this, he hasn't done too, too bad. Um, so Veron has gone to Barcelona. Um, anyone of interest? No one really of interest has gone. And no one went last season. So United, I mean, apart from Veron leaving, they do still have a good squad. Now, let me remind you, season one, Alex Ferguson's manager of Man United, he then retires, and the new manager is normally David O'Leary. But as you can see, uh, it's Claudio Ranieri that took the job, and his preferred formation is a 3-5-2, which probably corresponds with that setup there of having Stam, Neville, and Brown at the back. Sylvester, I mean, Zab Rotta is fair enough as that, as that wing-back. I'm not sure Mikel Sylvester would be the ideal left back. Uh, I mean, I, I'd have Phil Neville personally. Uh, Sylvester, I would probably have Sylvester at the back with Gary Neville and Yap Stam. Fuck where's Brown off. Uh, Roy Keane, Anderton. Where, there's no Beckham there. There's no Ryan Giggs. I mean, fucking hell. That's the thing about that formation. Um, where's what's the matter with Beckham? Is he unhappy? No, that's a shame, isn't it? Because you know what I was thinking. Um, so I have looked at, um, in fact, let's have a quick look. So we've got some players coming on a free transfer. Um, Epity, if that's how you pronounce it. I'm not, I don't think he's going to cut. I mean, he's a good player. He might He might cut. I think he comes up from the field with midfielders. We'll see how well he does for us. 
he is joining us. Uh, we've also got two players leaving. Um, they are not, like I said, they're nothing special. And we've got some bids in. We've got one for Stephen Pearson. I'm a big fan of Stephen Pearson. Uh, 425, is that what I want? Oh, no, he's available on a free transfer, Stephen Pearson. His contract's up. So 425 is a tribunal set fee. Um, that's another Bosman. I don't know. I mean, I'll probably end up getting him. Again, he's not the greatest. And, he's, and he is a winner, so probably wouldn't use him on the wing. But we'll see. Uh, this is my big one that I'm going for. Now, he is 33. So I'm looking to maybe get one year out of him. Uh, Lizarusa. But... The competition I've got for him is quite fierce. Real Madrid, Valencia, Inter, Deportivo. And that's not to mention, of course, uh, Milan are ch chasing him as well. So I'm not really confident, to be honest with you. Uh, so I've offered Claudio Lopez to Parma. Um, we'll see what Parma offered. Sebastian Frey is unhappy. I didn't realise that, which is good news. It's very, very good news. Um, let's just have a look at something. Parma, Parma, not... Look at that. It would be nice to see him go get, get relegated, because that does happen. He has got a relegation really. Oh, wouldn't that be good? Fuck me. Pick him up for £1 million. Pounds. Jeez. And the other people that I'm uh, also keeping an eye on, they uh, survived last season in the Premier League. They're actually having a good season. And that is uh, a few people that I was looking at. It's Jermaine Defoe. Um, looking very brutal indeed. And the other one, you all know who I'm going to go to, and it is not Michael Carrick, it is that man, Joe Cole, who also has a rele relegation release clause of £1.7 million. Pounds. Uh, I'd like to get Joe Cole, but it's going to be very difficult to get him now, to be honest with you. Um, I will have a quick look at Michael Carrick. Ah, yeah, dear, fuck all, is he? No one else at West Ham. Let's take a look now, then, at uh, my player of the year, by the way, uh, last season for Leeds. Um, was I'm pretty sure no, I'm sure it was Sigalco Sigalco 38 last season and uh, I'm sure he was the um, fans player of the year as well yes he was but as you can see so far his um, top goal scorer Nicky Ferenko and bear in mind he's not playing um, as the out and out striker most goals of the game Viduka last season he got 5 Sigalco 2 this season um most assists, Harry Kewell, 21 last season, 14 this season. Wow, just fucking wow. Uh, that's um, that's 21 in all competitions, obviously. Uh, most highest average rate in Maxman last season, Nicky Ferenko this season. Looking very, very good indeed. I can't drop him. You see why I can't drop him now, can't you? Most man of the match awards, Segalco 13 last season, Nicky Ferenko so far this season. Worst disciplinary, Oliver Decor 13, Yellers, Lee Bowyer. Lee Bowyer can be a real fucking bastard. Uh, most league appearances, Gary Kelly, although I don't really like this. This is why I turn the history off on my updates, because that's including all Gary Kelly's previous Leeds history. I couldn't give a shit about that. Um, that's, you know, that's just um, my own perspective. Uh, mostly, and the same is going to... Oh, no, no, goals. Lee Bowyer, is that right? Most league goals. Yeah, you see, that, that's not a true reflection from Lee Bowyer, in all honesty. Um, not since I started playing, anyway. Youngest player, um, Riyad and Kalstrom last season playing. And oldest player, Guardiola. Remember Pep Guardiola? We did vlog him. Uh, and Ayala so far this season. Most capped player, why can't we see that, I wonder? I don't know. Fans player of the year, we've already checked that. So, just to look at the... Um, Last season, uh, 98, I think uh, United finished on 96 in the end, something like that. We weren't in the Champions League last season, as you can see, final last season. League Cup, semi-final, we're in the semi-final so far this season. We lost the Super Cup, that's where my last uh, video was. We lost to Roma. Uh, Charity Shield, we won. And the UEFA Cup, we won. So, and uh, just last but not least, let's take a look at our manager stats. We are world class. Now, I called this a Leeds United love story. Um... I'll, I'll still keep calling it the Leeds United love story, but the bottom line is, if, and it is a big fuck off if, we can uh, complete it and win the Champions League, who knows, we might move on. Um, we might move on because I have got selected leagues open. Uh, just a quick look, David O'Leary. Uh, he got the Villa job then it looks like. Yeah, he was sacked, but he wasn't sacked because I took Leeds. Um, so let's take a look at the selected leagues that I've got available to me. Uh, we can actually turn that off, can't we? So we've got England, uh, Germany, Holland, 
Italy, Portugal and Spain. So who knows what we're going to do. Okay guys, that is it. That is my current setup on my Leeds United Love Story Part 2. Till next time guys, take it easy from me.